made my little three-way connectors here, doused them in uh, liquid electrical tape to prevent from shorts. That guy right there is right going to go right here. Of course, there's going to be two gray ones coming off because uh, I got two fans. So that's going to go there. And then one of the other ones is going to be the orange to ignition. And as you can see, the orange, those guys from that line right there, that blurry line, those two orange lines need to be married up to go into um, one fuse for the orange. And I got a, I got two more. I know one of them is got to be for this line right here. This is going to be coming off the gray uh, one, and that's going to go into a relay, which is going to go into the AC uh, switch. So that's three, and I think uh, I think I made one extra, just in case I crimped it wrong or whatever. But that's what these little guys are. So I've got this big, huge mess. There's my two relays on the other end of many, 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 many feet of cord. So I've got to actually do this the hard way now, which means I've got to mount the relays. Uh, I'm going to mount them. This right here, this box, is the cover for the um, computer. All right, so the most complicated of all in this is going to be the gray wires. Uh, the gray wires, you got one coming off of each relay. They need to get married and come together. They're doing that right at the tip of those wire cutters. So they become one wire. Then they come down a little bit more and they split again. One is gonna go into the relay and one is gonna go to the sending unit. So I'm gonna need two of my little three prong connectors in a row. Let's see how this goes. All right, so let's see what we got now. We got two gray wires, one each coming off of a relay and getting married. And now we've got one gray wire that splits. And it splits one going into the 30 of the relay and the other one going down and finding its way into the thermostat. Next, we gotta work on what comes out of the relay. We got two grounds coming out of the relay and we got one going to the AC compressor. And that's it for right now. Access to the AC clutch wire is made much simpler by pulling out the uh, the fender well plastic piece. I'm trying to show you here. This is the passenger side front, and as you can see, that's uh, the wheels off, and that fender well is off. And if we go in, 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 you can see the green wire that we need to tap into. It is, looks like we've got a good bit of wire to work with, but this little Phillips head is restricting the amount of wire we have access to. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncouple it from there, give us some more wire to work with. Try to slide this black sleeve down, snip the wire, put my three-way connector in there, tap into it, uh, and then run that back to the relay. So that's the plan. I uncoupled the connector and undid the screw. Give me a little bit more to work with. I'm gonna have to cut into that uh, sheath. Give myself a little bit more room. All right, with the sheath pulled away some, I'm gonna cut into the green line and uh, incorporate my three-way juncture, junction thing. All right, so I've tied into the line, added the three-way connector, and uh, this yellow line is what's gonna run back to the relay. And now I'm going to clean up the original uh, AC compressor line. So after putting the little Phillips head screwdriver bracket thing back, taping up the AC clutch wiring, that's what it looks like. Yes, I used duct tape because I ran out of electrical tape. That, now I'll go back up top and pick up this yellow wire, which essentially just runs parallel to whatever hose I could find. 
and then it goes back to the other side of the car where it goes back up to the orange box. And then of course that yellow cable taps into, taps into the 85 on our relay and then 86 and 87 both go to ground. So let's see if I can get the numbers here. 86 is to ground, 87 is to ground, 85 is to the compressor, and 30 is to the gray wire. So, and then here's the two wires running into ground right there. So that completes the entire wiring for our fan. What a mess. That is just a freaking mess. So I have to figure out how to clean all that up. That's why I left myself extra wire. So, now, gotta test it. But I can't test it. I don't have an upper radiator hose plugged in. So, it is very late here right now, so I'll be testing it tomorrow. That's it for now. All right, so testing out the fans. Everything's hooked up. The car is not up to temperature yet, and the fans are off. But, with them tied into the AC, the car's not up to temperature yet. As you can see, you're right there. AC's not on. I'll go ahead and turn on the AC. Oh yeah, I just heard him come on. off the fans came off not at the temp everything's working exactly as it should now we'll wait for the car to come up to temperature and uh, as soon as it hits 195 the fans should come on And there they go. Everything works exactly as it should. Sweet. So far I'm pleased. <laughs>